Yo, yeah, what's up guys? It's your boy Cool and Man 100 x Welcome to the Red Sea. How you guys doing? Before we jump into the video, make sure you visit my website to get the no sleep offense, defense, and the Red Sea offense that's available for two bucks. Links will be in the description below to go to my website for that to get the ebooks. Also, if you want to stay up to date with my social media links and everything that I live stream to and stuff like that, clothing, art, and other stuff that I'm coming out with, make sure you go to my description and go to my flow page link. That'll link you to all my other YouTube channels, live streams, affiliate links, and stuff like that for you to support the channel. So if you're into that, all that stuff will be in the link in the description below to stay up to date with your boy, Kool Aid Man 100. -X. Okay, we're going to jump back into the West Coast Offensive Playbook Formation Single Back. Spread the play we're going to be going over is double post. Okay, when well you run double post, it's pretty much self explanatory. Double post you can run regularly. Only thing I would do is take the hitch routes off so you can open up the post a little bit more better. So when a post comes inside, you'll be able to hit them exactly in the middle because these post routes are unique. Sometimes they can be defended like that. So in order to stop those posts to be defended is you either can streak out or slant under. To take that safety down. So you want to take that safety down. So when he cuts him across the middle, you see how he fakes it. Now, a lot of a lot of this double post actually get instant replay. So let's see. When he runs the double post, you see how he, he cuts back. So a lot of double posts got those fake double posts underneath. So what I like to do is either streak both of my receivers. So the reason why I streak them because now you can see that post actually running a little bit more across the middle of the field. <laughs> now they gotta defend both. So you can either streak these receivers to open up those posts, but either or to make those post routes actually work efficiently, they gotta go underneath those routes as you see there. <laughs> Cause the safety gotta be able to guard under. So. As you see here, when he runs the post now, when he runs underneath, now he got to go through three receivers. See how he ducks back to guard that safety. So now he can't get a play on the ball like he's supposed to. Same instance as running underneath, you can do the same thing. So, in order to get those posts to work, you have to either streak them or slant them or, you know, anything going across the middle of the field to take the safeties under. So be mindful of that when you try to just throw underneath those posts. So at that instance, he's guarding it. So don't force it. Uh, what I like to do in the double post too is actually put them in post. There's a lot of people don't know that. <laughs> put them in actual post and do a double slant underneath. This is a nice adjustment play because it gives the free safeties and safety to understand what a one play touchdown is. So you actually split in both of the receivers and the slants in the slot so in this instance you're looking for the split so now you got him going across that and get that nice catch across the middle of the field sometimes he's can turn into one play touch titles too as well so you can actually slant have one post here and you know just open up that post a little bit more so you can have the two hitch routes do as well. So just put them on actual post. So taking the uh, uh, granted that the two posts are powerful to do. So you can do the two posts. Um, and you can do double posts underneath. <laughs> so this actually give you a little bit more of a game changer here. So now you got one on one coverage. This gives you an understanding of where to go, how to play, all the other stuff. So be mindful how to run these posts. So definitely be mindful because you can run one post on a double post and have a drag and leave that post underneath as well. So that gives you a one play touchdown too as well. So as you see here, actually opens up Santling a little bit more, but I bullet past that. Let's see if I can get a long throw for you guys. Got this play here and drag them. I'm gonna pass the up. Get a nice little touch pass, and you see here this actually opens up Sam a little bit more. Touch now, so you can turn those into one play touch now. So, I hope you enjoyed the play. I'm out of here, guys. Deuces.